Today, we will be looking at the most cursed and haunted grave sites that will either possess you, kill you, or injure you. Either way, you don't want to go anywhere near them. Starting off this countdown, we have the Cursed Grave. Located in Gippsland, Australia, or Gypsland, I'm sorry, there is a grave site inscribed with a curse. The grave belongs to James Mitchell, a man who died after falling down a mine shaft. His grave reads, and I quote, Oh, let my sudden doom a warning be to all. Here, while thou Thou bendeth over thy tomb, thou may as quickly fall. If you say that curse out loud while at his grave, legend goes, you will unexpectedly die within the next couple of days. In our ninth spot, we have the Weeping Woman. Legend goes that a woman named Charlotte M. Sitton haunts the Adelita Cemetery in California. Apparently, back in the day, Charlotte lost both of her children due to an epidemic. Being so distraught over her loss, she ended up taking her own life to be with her children once again. Again. According to locals, she hung herself by the local school. Now her soul is restless. She hasn't been able to find peace since. It's said that every Friday between 10 to 11.30 p.m., Charlotte appears by her children's grave. You can see her lurking about in a white dress, placing flowers down on her children's graves before heading out into the woods. Coming in at number eight, we have the Bleeding Headstone. The Union Cemetery in Pennsylvania is known to be a pretty haunted one. There's apparently a woman in white that lurks the area, and of course, a headstone that bleeds. The grave belongs to 19th century local William Musser. His relatives tried to replace the tombstone a number of times, but no matter what, blood always seems to continue seeping out of it. Turns out that William was stabbed and bled to death. In fact, on a number of occasions, a knife has appeared on the tombstone. Coming in at number seven, we have the Crypt Keeper. Imagine having a full on mausoleum for when you die. You're either super rich or super important or both, if that happens. Anyways, located in the West Edmiston Cemetery in New York, there's a mausoleum for a woman named Eunice Welch. She died in 1922 while in her 70s due to natural causes. Nothing too eerie or unusual there. But what is spooky is the fact that her mausoleum is home to an undead crypt keeper. Apparently, if you knock on the door and wait, you'll hear some rustling from inside. After a few moments, someone will knock back. But if the crypt keeper is in a bad mood, he might yell at you to leave. A number of people have done this and have heard his eerie voice talk back to them. Now, you might be wondering, who is this guy that's haunting the mausoleum of this innocent woman? Well, it turns out that the mausoleum used to store dead bodies in there during the winter. There wasn't enough storage elsewhere, so they placed the bodies there until the ground thawed so that they could be buried. So it's believed that maybe one of the bodies that was placed there latched onto the area and is now haunting it. In our sixth spot, we have the Black Angel. Now, this one has to be the weirdest one on this whole list. But there's a Black Angel statue located in Fairview Cemetery in Council Bluffs, Iowa, that comes alive at night. Yes, you heard me. Apparently, this statue comes alive at night and flies around the grave. And you don't want to be anywhere near it when it happens, because the legend continues on, saying that the statue has been known to shoot fire from its eyes. Those hit by the eye beam will disappear forever. In fact, the statue apparently wasn't always black, but it turned black around the same time that it came alive. So some say that it absorbed the evil from the people buried around it and the evil caused it to change color. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with Black Agnes. In 1899, a wealthy businessman named John Hubbard passed away. But before he did, he had a copper sculpture made to be placed near his grave. The sculpture is of a bare individual draped in cloth with their head tilted upwards. It is said to be of Thanatos. Thanatos in Greek mythology was the personification of death, so kind of fitting. The statue is located in Greenmont Cemetery in Vermont, and of course, it's haunted. Apparently, some have seen its eyes glow red in the middle of the night. Others have heard blood-curdling screams come from her, but the scariest thing is that she has killed a number of people. Apparently, if you sit on her lap, death will befall you within seven days. So whatever you do, do not 
pop a squat on her lap. Moving on to number four, we have Smiley's grave. In Garland, Texas, there is a single plot for an entire family that all died on the same day. They are known as the Smiley family. You have the mother, Belle Hall, the father, Chas Smiley, and daughters, Lilith Merle, Greta May, and Charlena. Turns out that on May 9th of 1927, the dad, Chas Smiley, took the lives of his wife and three daughters while in a fit of rage. After he calmed down and realized what he had done, he took his own life by hanging. Rumor has it that if you lay down on the grave at midnight and try to get back up, you won't be able to. That's because the ghost of Chaz Smiley has got you and is trying to pull you down to hell with him. Coming in at number three, we have Cornelius Vanderblit. In the 19th century, businessman Cornelius Vanderblit was one of the richest Americans. As a result, he was laid to rest in a three-story mausoleum. Now his tomb was something else. It was massive, but also decorated like a Romanesque church in France. But it's also incredibly haunted. A number of people have reported different spooky encounters there. First, we have a female figure that likes to hover around the tomb. Apparently, a woman died nearby after a heavy iron door fell on her. So people think that the ghostly figure they have seen is her. Other people have seen like bright light orbs in the area. And some have seen Cornelius himself. If you try to trespass into the tomb, apparently he will appear in a gray suit and chase you away. And lastly, some visitors claim that when they have taken photos of outside of the mausoleum, that they later found a figure lurking in the back of the photo. Moving on to number two, we have Pinewood Cemetery. Pinewood Cemetery in New York is now abandoned, but the spooky legends associated with it still live on. In fact, to this day, taxi drivers hate driving past. It. That's because a number of them have seen terrifying things while doing so late at night. Apparently, a number of drivers have picked up passengers nearby heading home. However, while en route, a number of them just vanished from the back seat of the cab into thin air. How eerie. The cemetery is also said to be home of an angel statue that bleeds from its neck. And there's a crumbling mausoleum where people have seen a strange green glowing light orb floating about right where the coffins used to be. And in our number one spot today, we have the Vampire Grave. Now this is probably one of the creepiest legends out there. So apparently in Lafayette, Colorado, there's this weird grave with the words, born in Transylvania, etched on it. Local legends say that the grave site belongs to a real life vampire. In fact, there's a tree growing right on the grave. Legend goes that this tree grew from the stake that killed the vampire. To make things weirder and creepier, sometimes people have seen a tall, slender man in a dark coat with black hair and long fingernails lurking around the grave. Sounds like he's a vampire. Maybe mourning the loss of his vampire friend? I don't know. Some have reported him actually sitting on the tombstone itself. And one time, a police chief patrolling the area found a doll with pins stuck through its heart left on top of the grave. Nowadays, it's a popular ghost attraction. People love to go check out the vampire's grave with hopes to get a glimpse of this eerie vampire man. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. If you want to see part two, let me know in the comments below. And with that being said, let's move on to some comments. I'll be shouting out comments from the video, top 10 dark internet mysteries that remain unsolved. Heather Smith commented, Maybe that's how anonymous recruits. Smart enough to solve it, you become literally anonymous. Maybe. Honestly, I never thought about that. But you could be onto something. Like they upload a huge internet puzzle, whoever solves it, boom, you're smart, come join us. I gotta start solving these puzzles, honestly. Blue Streak Studio commented, How do these guys not only remove their eyes, but successfully mail them to a large corporation like YouTube? Don't ask me, it's just an urban legend. But like, I get what you're saying. They plucked out their eyes and they still managed to like write YouTube's headquarters and go and drop it. It just doesn't make sense. I understand. Okay, we're on the same page here. I'm confused. And that one gamer peanuts commented, not me watching this after hearing thumping and a deep voice say, Har! outside my front door. It was me. I was the one thumping and saying Har! outside your front door. All right, guys, that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye.